He screamed, screamed, screamed. Their cars collided on Sunset Boulevard. Bam! Mr. Bull over here smashes me. He says, I saw my boyfriend on Highland <gasps> Avenue with another man. You weren't there, were you? Maybe. What does that mean, maybe? You don't know whether you were there or not? I am absolutely convinced that Mr. Bull had his name shortened. You are about to enter the courtroom of Judge Judith Scheinlin. The people are real. The cases are real. The rulings are final. This is her courtroom. This is Judge Judy. Parties on Farkas versus Bull. Step forward, please. Actor Peter Farkas claims 31-year-old makeup artist Dwayne Bull changed lanes and smashed into his car on Sunset Boulevard and still hasn't paid for the damage. Order, all rise. Yeah, it's number 90 on the calendar in the matter of Farkas versus Bull. Parties have been sworn in, Judge. You may be seated. Have a seat, ma'am. Okay, Mr. Bull, you've been anxious to tell me your side of the story. Now I'm prepared to hear you, sir. Judge Judy continues in a moment. Hey, Mr. Oh, Farkas you're on is your gone. papers. Come he on. agreed to pay for the repair. <laughs> he never came all by to pay for paper, it. Paper, 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 paper. Real cases, real people. Judge Judy. Dwayne Bull, a Hollywood hair and makeup specialist, says his collision with actor Peter Farkas on Sunset Boulevard was Farkas's fault, and he shouldn't have to pay for the damage. Now I'm prepared to hear you, sir. What the hell's so funny? Oh. Judge Judy continues in a moment. And later today... He has no idea what my feelings are if I like to ride bicycles. He doesn't know that about I me. I dated him for six months. We've been friends for nine months since then. Judge Judy is ready to rule. You're Mr. Farkas, you paid the, uh, you paid the $1,800 to have your I car did. fixed? Judgment in this case is for the plaintiff in the amount of $1,800. The defendant's counterclaim for harassment and all sorts of other things is dismissed. Thank you, Goodbye. Judge. Excuse you may step out. <laughs> but you are very yeah. smart about getting those papers because that's the only reason why you won this case. But other than that, she would have looked at it for my <laughs> way. And another, yeah, I just yeah. think Sorry. it's because you're blonde and blue-eyed. I, I am absolutely convinced that Mr. Bull had his name shortened. And now, the next case. All parties on Ryder versus Pullman. Step forward. 30-year-old marketing director Kirk Ryder says he loaned his bicycle to his ex-boyfriend, Klaus Pullman, and it was stolen. So now Klaus should pay. All right. A chain which could be cut easily. Judge Judy continues in a moment. Want justice? Call 1-888-800-JUDY. Kirk Ryder says his ex-boyfriend, Klaus Pullman, should pay for the bicycle he borrowed because it was stolen while in his possession. The only thing that I have to decide is on a value. That's all. Thank, Thank you, Excuse Honor. you may step out. Judge Judy continues in a moment. And on the next Judge Judy. He had, we had talked about re my replacing, uh, compensating him for the loss of the bike, not because I felt responsible, but because I felt sorry for him. Bottom line, he's better. There's a long, deep story that goes farther than this, but it's because he's better. 